Good day, devs. Welcome to another we got another challenge on my channel. Today I'll be doing the project intro component. It's a free challenge, so I can go ahead and download the setup pack on Friday and Mentor. So, without wasting time, let's get on to the challenge. I've already have it unzipped the challenge, and there it is. The the starter. You can on online sixteen. I've already created a, a link for our style CSS, and then if you go down to the bottom the bottom bottom of the page of the page, you can see that online port one. I created a in the in a link for our javascript file script.js so inside my body i'm going to start doing it let's put for that i'm going to have a container a main class i mean to with, with a class name container that will wrap up everything inside that's where i'm going to be doing some divisions first of all i'm going to have enough for the header for top header i'll call it class i'll call it logo nav then below i'm going to have a div class for content okay in small letters Just putting some nice spacing. Then lastly, I'm going to have a div for for the image. And there it is. The design that we're expecting, we're expecting a design that looks like this. So on mobile view, it's going to be like this. As you can see, if you click on the nav on the menu, so there it is. So now to start off the challenge, you can see that there's a logo to the extreme left side, and in the middle there is some content headings on your desktop view. So let's start off inside our nav. Now I'm going to create a div class for the logo I'll call it logo nextly I'm going to have a pattern for the one which you wish you toggle so let me call it pattern or give it a class name of hamburger Lastly, I'm going to have a div class for nav links, so I'll call it div dot nav links. But I want to by default it's on mobile view is display now, so I'll give it another class name of display now. So let's save some let's save some content inside. For this one, I'm going to for the log I'm going to use hyperlinks with the class name of link logo. You can put some links of our side. Now we're going to use an image. Inside the images folder slash we can we know that it's going to be logo svg that's the file name for our logo it's wise to put some text just in case the image does not come out so this now okay this text goes inside there, yes, like this. Now for the button, that's way which the one that will display on mobile view, that one will be used. 
So I need to have a class name for the image. Let me put Ambega. Close. Now we need to put our source inside the images folder. Slash. We need to collect the class name. The name of the is ham. This one. That's the name. Icon hamburger. Of the image icon. Bigger. let's take a look at what we have so to do that i'll just need to open it in the browser okay there it is you can see okay let me collect the name oh, let's see wait okay i need to it's not the name it's just that i need to put svg yes there you can see just puts out text just in case there's the image does not come out i just call it hamburger icon now i'm going for the nav links i'm going to use hyperlinks to display them so hyperlinks we are going to have class names so as you can see from our design design is here we've got one two three four there are four of them and a dot sign there so you need to do that just do it four times copy test three four and the last one the fifth one always make you sure that your code appears smartly So it's time to drag the content. Now that let me check let me check the progress that we have made yes this is the progress that we are making now it's the time to to go on to our styling in, inside css file let me start by styling everything let's set the margin zero centering and let's add the padding to zero box sizing border box now i also want to start the body we start by using position let's set it to relative Now, then after that, we say body after. Next, we have content. Let's set it to empty. With the set it to 50%. Height, let me give it 61. The background color, let's take a look from our design. The background color would what would be the background color. Is it is a light grayish blue? Light grayish blue, light grayish blue. We have got it. So I need to go inside my cell guide light. Let's copy it. 
and place it there. Position absolute. From the top, I want it to be zero from, from the right side. Move less, leave no space to zero. On the Z index, I'll set it to minus one. And hold down. Border bottom left, let's see if the border bottom left radius, let's see if four rams. With these changes, let me look at what changes that we have applied. Oh yes, there you can see the that changes that we have applied now. After that, I'm going to start in my common tags H1. H2, H3, hyperlinks, and the button. Now I'm going to have, I'm just going to style this every font family. Let's have a font family provided from our style guide. This is the font family that we are going to be using. Okay, I select this style. I'll use import. Let's copy it. Place it right at right at the top. Now we can say font family. Now we can use the font family barrel. What you need is just to come back and put on the link. Then you can just collect this, copy it. Yes, the font family has been implemented. Now I want to start the container. Let me let me let me come and pick up the class names. Container, yeah, I need an A. Then, before I do that, I also want to add another class name for for nav link. So I'll just come in inside and just add another class name. I'll call it global. Reading. Now I want to collect the class names. Just, just continue pressing on the control button while it's your highlight all that you need. Okay, copy everything. We now take all that we need now it's time to just put a full stop on all Now, I will start styling by the container. 
I'll set the maximum width to 100%. The next I want the padding for the bottom to be five frames. Yeah, five frames is better. Now nextly I'm going to start I'm going to set display to flex. Nextly Let's say fix direction since we are starting off with the with the mobile view it's, it's going to be column then overflow along the axis to hidden let's have a look at the changes that we have applied on our we can close this one Yes, those are the changes that we've applied. Let's let's continue styling. Nextly, I'm going to start the second class name for the for the nav. This is the global padding. I'm just going to set the I'm going to start the padding top and bottom. I want two rams. Left and right, I want one comma five rams. Now I'm going to start the logo now. Okay, let's have an order of minus two. Display flex. Justify the content space between. Then align the items to the center. Position relative yes as you can see we have styling now let me continue styling I'm going to I'm going next to style the logo in the hamburger I want to style them okay on this one as well I want to combine them and give them common properties. Display flex just to find the content to the center. Align items. We are centering everything to the center of the page yes Let's take a look after that nextly I'm going to style the logo image as well as the Ambega image so I need to come and say logo IMG image as well let's have a display block and width of 20 20 pixels now let's maybe look at oh yes that's it that are the progress that we have made after that, I'm going now going independently to target the hamburger. Here it is. I set the border to none. Background to none. Uh, pointer and 
ติดออดไลน์งานนี้ซื้อ then I have to go for the transition this is where I'm going to use transform Yeah, I would need. Let me go for zero point four seconds, please. Let's have a look. Look at. Oh yes, you can see the mo the progress that we are making. Now, I'm going to use a unique property which is is active. Transform, rotate, one thousand eight hundred degrees. Let's take a look at the progress that we have. Yes. Okay, it's too much, so I need to go for one eighty. Too many zeros there. Yes. So now, nextly, I'm going to sell the nav links. They they are. Just start with the padding. Of one comma five rams, top and bottom. Then left and side, left and right side. I'm going to have two rams. Then with three hundred foot five pixels. Then maximum with eighty eight percent. Background color triple F. Then position absolute. Let's have a look at the progress that we have made. Yes, you can see this is the progress that we have made. Let's go back to our design. Okay, I was on the nav links. If the position is absolute, let's put the top fifty percent. Then from the left side, fifty percent. Then transform. I want to do translate minus fifty percent, fifteen percent. Margin auto. Let's set the margin to the center. Let's have a look at the progress that we've made. Oh yes, there you can see we are making progress. Let's put into this. Go for the Z index. Let's set it to one. Okay, I want the box shadow. Uh, not for now. 
but it's good to have a box out there. Box shadow. to the right and let's have a color for the box shadow which I'm going to put to the left side I'll reduce it to just a comma one let's reload yes you can see the box shadow has been applied well Then I want the border radius. Of zero comma two rams. Transition. From the top. On zero comma five seconds. Is in out. Now let's have a load. Yes, you can see. Um, okay, there's the display none property which we need. Let's say top minus 300 pixels you see they've now it has now moved inside to the top okay enough links i want to target the hyperlinks now let's have a text decoration to none Save a text transform. I want to move everything to uppercase. Color of our text should be very dark blue. The it is copied, just paste it there. Wait, let me set it to 600. Margin bottom, margin to the bottom. I'm going to give it two rings. it 100% text align center display blow letter spacing one pixel there it is now I want to address the nav links every time when we over them. Every time when you over. Text decoration. And it moves from under from, from none to underline. The dots. mobile view is not going to be displayed to none okay let's come here and split class name do it okay there it is okay yeah i also need something that is very important 
I need an ID for JavaScript. I'll call it login. Now we can start the, the login. Okay, before. the content to attempt let's save display block okay I want the border at the top the border to the top okay I need them one comma five so solid and then for the color grayish blue grayish blue we want the color that is grayish blue this one let's have to copy it and place it there Now let me, before I finish off, I need the margin for the bottom, which is going to be one rim. Now let's take a look at the progress that we have made. Okay, yes, there it is. So, now we need also to style the login pattern on its own. In bottom zero and also you have to set the color to grayish blue color of the text to grayish blue now let's take a look at there you can see okay Now let me go to the JavaScript coding, which is very important. The JavaScript coding, let's clear const ambiga. What's the spelling? Yeah, ambiga. Like this, huh? equals to I'm going to use a pretty selector to identify our class name to pick our class names document dot query query selector let's get the class name of Ambega this one just copy it we can for now no don't save changes we can now for now we can place it there next we can declare the cost first Now I'm going for the close icon. Close icon equals to document dot selector I need it to pick. This class name, just copy it and place it there. Now I also need to create another cost for the nav links. First, uh, document dot it is select again. 
this. Now I want to pick the nav links. I actually prefer just to copy so that I avoid all typing errors. Now we're going to start off our JavaScript in detail. So I have to set let the count equals to say equals to zero. Ambega dot it. Event list now, yeah. Just just take a look at the spelling so that you don't make that error. I used to make that error when I was starting off, but now I'm very careful. Okay, this hamburger that we have that we have declared once it has picked up the hamburger class, this is what is going to trigger. It's going to trigger a, a function when whenever we perform a, a click. For now, you don't you don't need this one like this. So let's start if I'm bigger dot you can you can remove this body dot class toggle active let's see it's if count if count is identical remember to zero This is what happens. These are the changes that we are going to make to the CSS styling. I'm the close icon. Remember this one with the class name I'm bigger close. This one is going to change. It's going to trigger a change on our source of the source image file. It's going to change its the address to images slash icon remember this is the one that we use that has got a, a, a closing sign so just take a look at your style card so that you don't you follow me correctly the, this is the one that we want i can close and we come here we say with one no one for the count it is in it is now equal to one okay we won't want to go for the nav links dot class list dot remove this is the operation remove it removes the display none display display none class name let me set it to retain Now I'm going for the if the count is now equal to one, is that identical to one? The class names are going to change. 
just copy everything that you have done there and place it inside now there we are the class name is going to change to this one icon ambega it changes icon ambega just find the spelling make sure that you type everything correctly and then the remove will be removed and we can set to add now let's have a look at the progress that we have made okay now we need to sort out some few issues it is i can see that from the design making a comparison on mobile view you can see that the navigation is immediately disappears from the screen and while it says this one is toggling so i need to make sure that my my solution also does the same so let me go in and check inside my coding inside the javascript code okay online script inside inside the script js file let's remove the full stop then also yeah the closing make sure that the closing semicolons are there or from line to file 46 then when i copy it okay on line 29 let's set remove the count to zero there so that is not equal to the count on 21 and let's take a look at the progress that we have made okay everything is doing but I, I don't want this this login button to become visible i want it to disappear completely so let me go into my styles file css online 89 let's set the display proper top to to minus 400 and let's let's have a look at the progress that we have made now it disappears from the screen okay when you toggle yes there it is this everything is working accordingly now is the time to go on to the content section you can see this is a content we know that we have got a hyperlink editing text and some paragraphs image to the right side right side a pattern and some text so to do that let's get into the index html we now need to put the contents inside the content i'm going to get another div class or name i'll give it a class name of new dash dash let me give it a second class name of global padding then i'm going to inside i'm going to use h tags and paragraph h1 tags and paragraph h1 tags okay yeah it was important that i give it a class name of new now paragraph tags i'll give them a class name of dash now let's drag our content let's cut it Let's save. That is saved inside the div new dash. Then, nextly, I'm going to have another div that I, which I'll call the the hero div dot hero. Let me put down the second class name of global building. I'm going to use h2 ticks and I'll put it zero ticks. And we're going to have paragraph ticks. Now it's time to drag our content. I also want another class at last last div inside the div content. I'll call it 
let me give it a class name of demo preview let's give it as usual let's give the class second class name of global padding we are going to have this is where we are going to have pattern and I will have to give it a class name of btn demo let's have Yes, as you can see, this is the progress that we have made. Now, it's the time for us. No, before I do that, there is a missing image which I need to place it inside the let's save image. I'm going to give it a class name of image devices. So let's I need, let's use the source of our images inside the images folder slash. Okay, I need I need this name that. Let's take a look at the progress that we have made. Oh yes, there's the progress that we have made. Now we now want to go to styling but before i go to styling i want to make sure that i have copied the, all the class names copy all the class names correctly Now we're done with that. So for now, it's important to go. Let's go to our styling. I start off by styling the image because this is the most important part. Let's say order to minus one. Then margin to the top. Two rims. Let's check a look at. Oh yes, you see, it's now moved up to the top. Now let's continue styling. Let's let's style inside the images. If I want to put more styling, I'll say display block. with uh, as for 520 pixels then height let's set it to auto then margin left minus 0 comma 1 range
let's take a look at the progress that we have made okay, you can see the progress that we have made remember we are doing the mobile view for the start now I'm going to start the content right on the top there for the content we're going to just move the margin from the top five frames then nextly we're going to start the new dashboard let's say display flex Align items to the center. Heading top zero. Heading bottom. Heading the bottom zero again. Then I want the gap. Gap of one rim all over. Let's take a look at the changes that we have applied. Yes, the changes that we have applied. Next, I'm going to start on the new class. Let's have the vet. Let's have a padding of bottom and and top of 0.2 rams. Then side left and right 0.8 rams. Then let's have border radius of 0 0.8 rams. Text transform to uppercase background color. I want dark blue. So yeah, like this background color. I want dark blue. So I have to go inside my style guide CSS and collect the dark blue. This one is not star guide for the dark blue color. Uh, let's take copy. Then the color of the text, I want it to be white. One family. On this one family. Okay, one size. One rim. You can never look at the progress that we have made. Yes, there you can see the progress. Next, I'm going to start the dash. It is this one. It takes transform to uppercase again. Font family. I want to paste the same font family. Later spacing. Three pixels. Then color of the text it's going our color is going to be grayish blue so we, we want this color font size 0 0.85 rams Nextly, again, start the hero. Before I go that, let me check out the progress that we have made. Yes, you can see the progress that we are making. Next time, we're going to start the hero. So I want the margin to the top it will be one ram. Then the padding to the top. Okay, padding top. Is zero and padding to the bottom. 
again to set it to zero. Now I'm going to say the hero. Paragraph. Okay, let me start by doing this one. Go text. Font size. Two comma three rams. Text transform to uppercase. Line height one. Color of the text to be dark blue. Margin bottom. The one brain. Let's take a look at the progress that we have made. Oh yes, there it is. Then we are we're now going for the paragraph. Hero. Targeting the P paragraph text. And the color to change to very dark grayish blue. Get it dark. This is one. <laughs> okay, I, I, I didn't copy it correctly. Yeah, like this one. Font size. It has to be a bit smaller. Then font weight, I'll set it to 300. Padding to the right, three rams. Let me take a look at the progress that we have made. Yes, this is for the mobile view. Now we are going to style the The demo preview margin top two rams padding to the bottom zero padding to the top zero again then display flex. Align item center, then gap of one ring. Let's take a look at. Oh, yes, this progress that we have made. Then, after that, I'm going to start the button demo. Okay, there's an O left there, so let's get in. Now I'm going to start off with the padding. I'm going to set the padding to top and bottom 0, 6 rams. The inside is left and right. I'll set it to 1,3 rams. Then border, I'll set it to none. Outline, I'll set it to none. Text transform to uppercase. Okay, put the radius 0.4 rams. Point two eight seven hundred. Then the ground color, the ground color, I want this one to be red. 
so you have to collect it from a style guide copy it and press it there then color of the text suppose it's going to be white so just put triple f there Later spacing I'll set it to one pixel then I also need a case it shall be a pointer then transition for the background color background color Set it to variable mass for is in out. color of the from our design you can see that it a bit the color goes a bit faint the red color so we're going to change this color okay let's just copy it as it is copied Now for, for me to change it, I need to add the figures a bit. Okay, so I'll set, since it's going to fade a bit, I'll put the last one, I'll set it to 80%. Just faint. Just to use it. Let's take a look at the progress. You can see every time it's faint. Yeah, this is life. So now let me look at the design to see life. The text is not. Okay. Now, so I want to text. The, I want to sell this text to see life day. It's under the class name day pre demo preview. Then we use paragraph text. Okay. Uh, what did I do? I copy. Paragraph text yeah, like this. Let's take a look. Okay, now let's tell the, the last text day. Text transform the uppercase. Now I want the color of the text to be grayish blue. Okay, grayish blue. This is grayish blue. Font size zero comma seven seven rams, and then letter spacing two pixels. Let's take a look at. Okay, so on the, this is what it looks like on. This is how it looks like on on mobile view.
so you can see on mobile view now it's time to go on to the desktop view so for the desktop view i will i'll be using mobile i'll be using media queries now we are going to apply media queries to make our site mobile responsive for me to do that i'm going to be using media queries so let's start off with media queries hit media minimum width i'm going to start off initially we'll start off at 460 pixels outside the box outside brackets so let me put on a set of media queries that i'm going to be using just copy it seven now let's go for the figures i'm going to add this one to 520 then the next one i'm going to treat it 580 Following one six twenty. The next one six eight seven. Eight hundred and sixty. One thousand two hundred. Last one, I'll go for 1440. Now, let's start styling inside for six for, for minimum width of 460 pixels. I'm going to give images device I'll set the minimum width, the width, okay, let's save the width to 550 pixels then the margin to the left i want to pull it minus 0 0.3 rams then for the for 550 minimum 550 i'm going to put some changes first of all i'll do the body after Height, let's set it to 70%. Okay, I want to change this one. Minimum width, I'll set it to 650. Then the margin to the left to remain same. Let me start the hero text. Let me increase the font size to 2.5 frames. And padding to the right. Padding to the right side. I'm going to give it 5 frames. Let's take a look at our design just to our design as you can see. Now let's go on to styling it 580 pixels. going to set the the body after image device and hero text i'm going to change only this content oh sorry yeah like this yes there it is then i'm going to change the height to 72 then the image device width i'm going to set it to 700 And then to pick the margin to the left, I'll remove it. Then the hero text, I'm going to set the padding to the right side. I'm going to out it to 10 rams, while at least the font size is removed. Let me. There you 
can see the changes then I'll go for the 620 pixels let me change the body and the image devices going to set it to 78 there is then the minimum width for image devices to 800 then margin to the left I want to set it minus 0.8 yes now for 678 pixels I'm going to start with the body after this one let's copy it let's paste it there I'm I'm going to have it at 50 VH then let's style let's type some new classes I'm going to start the container flexi direction I'm going to set it to row then flex wrap flex wrap wrap then I'm also going to start the logo nav flex basis I'll set it to hundred percent then order to new order to zero. Nextly, I'm going to style the content, the content class, as well as together with the you know image. Flexi basis fifty percent. Then order to zero as well. Then let me start the content on its own. I'm going to have imagine top five rams. Now, now I also want to style the new dash. Let's set the margin to the top to zero. The hero text. Let's set the padding to the right side to zero as well then demo preview I will set the margin to the top to three rams hero image set the margin to the top to four rams centering it to the center so I'll use display flex justify content center align items center We also want to style the image devices. Image devices. Margin. Okay. Margin bottom. Zero. 
with 100% transform uh, translate along the x axis okay let's, let's use capital letter x yeah like this along the axis i want to transform it to 70 pixels then i also want to add a scale property to increase it with 1.7 uh, let's say 3.7 Let's take a look at the new changes that we have applied. Oh yes, there it is, you can see. Now, we're going to style the at 600, at 600, 800 pixels. I'm going to change, put some changes on the logo now. I'm going to set the padding to the left and right. Left. Padding to the right side, to the left, right side. I'm going to have it at five frames. Then padding to the left. I'm going to put it as well as five frames. Let me have a look at the design. You can see. put some spacing so that my code looks okay then we set to display flex justify content space between align items to the center and position static Now we're going to style the image dot logo and MG with let's set it to twenty five pixels. Yes, there is the image it increased. Oh, let's set them to unset. Okay. It is there are the changes now let's set let's put on the nav links directed to everything margin to the right two rams you can see Nav links. I'm now. I want to start start styling on the hyperlinks. Let's use the common one. Text decoration none. Text transform to uppercase. Color dark blue. Let me let me open. Let me get it, the color that I want. This one is the color one want. So just paste it there. Okay, let's style the font weight. 
to 600 let's set the margin at the bottom to 2 rams with 100% text align center display in line letter spacing one pixel let's see if we look at there you can see the changes that we have applied now now let's go on to start the login pattern so i need it to be like they so use the hash for the login okay before i do that let me apply the before content let's set it to empty then display in line border to the top none margin bottom zero Margin to the right side. Margin to the right. I'll give it two rims. Font size. Let's give it two rims. Then one oh. and set. Let's take a look at the changes that we have applied. Okay, wrong page. This one. Yes, there you can see the progress that we are making. Now, uh, now I want to look at the, by the design, I want to start the dot, so the dot, dot sign. So, now to do that i will use the class name the class name dot that we have written there and let's style display in line and let me increase the font size to two rams Then the color I want it to be grayish blue, so I have to look at my style guide. There it is, just let's copy it there. Okay, let's take a look of our changes. Once we have okay, there it is. You can see the dot has improved. Now I want to remove this. I'm bigger. Let's set it to display none. Oh, there you can see it has disappeared. Now I want to look at the content. Padding. Padding to the left side. I'm going to set it. I'm going to set it at three rams. Then margin to the top. I set it to six rams. Yes, you can see the changes. Now. I want to style the hero image
let's set it to margin top let's see this is six rams yes now we are going to start at 1200 i'm going to use this one copy it and paste it there what we are going to change there we are going to set it we are going to increase the right the margin for to four rams next we are going to start the image devices img devices i'm going to say transform okay and translate it along the x-axis with the 125 pixels and scale it to 1.3 like that okay now we're going to start the hero checks Euro text day we are, we are going to set the font size to font size to three rams then margin to the bottom margin to the bottom two rams next I'm going to style the hero paragraph of paragraph targeting the paragraph text so to do that i'm going to use font size 1.5 rims padding to the right 13 rims we're going to start next the demo View preview the class name. I'm going to say margin top four rims, then next I'm going to get the pattern. I need the font size of one rim. Zero comma three rims. The next second side the demo preview paragraph font size. I'm going to say it is zero comma eight five rims. Later spacing, I need to set it to four pixels. Now we're going for minimum width. Let's set the body to after height. We're going to set it to 50 VH. Then I'm going to I'm going to change the container properties container properties. Okay, let's take a look at what happened after we start the minimum width to yes. Now let's start the container. 
maximum width to exactly 1440 pixels. Then I also want to center the margin. You center it using the margin in auto. Arrow uh, image margin top five frames. Third image devices. I want to use this property, so I just want. I just want to alter a few things. So let me come in and just. So we are going to change the, the, the transform along the XX to 150 pixels. Then the scaling, I'll leave it at, at 1,3. Then I'm also going to style the hero text, make some changes. Then we are going to increase the font size on live screens to 4,2 rams. I'm also going to style the Padding to the right, padding to the right side, not two but seven rings, seven rings. Then I'm also going to change the I'm, I'm going to change some properties on our paragraph tags for font size. Let's reduce it a bit to one comma two five. Rams, then padding to the right. I'm going to increase it to 20 rams. Oh, there's the it is that we have meshed up to. You can see we have meshed up to the challenge on mobile view. Thank you very much.